Hi friends, welcome to the Fairy Tale Fun Storytime program. I am so glad that you are joining me here today. I miss seeing all of your faces and being silly with you in the library, but this way we can all stay safe and stay home so that we can play later. Um, but speaking of silliness, this book that I have to read to you today is so silly. It is so funny. It is absolutely my new favorite book. I'm so excited to share it with you, and I hope that you guys like it. This is called On Account of the Gum by Adam Rex. So when someone says on account of, it's kind of a grown-up phrase, but it just means because of. So if I said, I was late for story time today on account of all the traffic, it just means I was late because of the traffic. So now that we understand our title, let's take a look at this cover. What do you think this character is feeling? Start to think about what this story might be about. And these first couple pages kind of set up our story. We have our character here chewing gum, blowing bubbles in bed, looking sleepy. And then we have, they're fully asleep on this next page. You can see the gum falling out of their mouth. I would not recommend chewing bubble gum in bed. Because now we're waking up the next day and we are finding gum in our hair. Uh, so thanks to Chronicle Books for permission to read this story today on account of the gum written and illustrated by Adam Rex. Uh, this book also has a lot of rhyming words in it, so as I'm reading it, see if you can point out some of the rhyming words. That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still, and your sister said, duck, and you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, we went on some websites and all of them swear if you wanna get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along and... I see, it appears that those websites were wrong. Don't give me that look. Look at that face. What do you think they're feeling? Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have grass in your hair. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Hmm. Your rabbit eats grass. Because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there, but your rabbit just sat, like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought, it'll leave if I bring in the cat. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch. She'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. Wait, no. I'm thinking of the old cat. Your aunt just came back and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus every few seconds we'll pop a balloon. And the guy with the bees said he'd get them here soon. And oh, I hear sirens, the firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same with their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili. They're ready to... What do you think? Stop! Get 
out, please. Looks like everyone's leaving. Jeez. Rude. That's the gum. It just walked right out. So that's the solution. Well, what do you know? Too bad about all of the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Whoop, now your aunt is all caught up in there. How'd that happen? Look at their face. Anyway, you better get to school. Because otherwise, you're going to miss picture day. On account of the gum. And that is the end. And you can see on this last page here, their school picture. They're trying to smile, I think. All right, I hope you liked that story. Now let's get on to our craft for the day. All right, so on to our craft. This is actually more of a science experiment than anything. If you are signed up for the Fairy Tale Fun program, you'll be able to pick up these materials at the library. If not, you might have them at home, so you'll be able to follow along. Um, so we are going to be making bubblegum slime. And this is not slime for eating, nay nay. This is just slime for playing with with our hands, but it's gonna be pink like bubblegum. It's gonna be sticky and stretchy and gooey and so fun to play with. Um, so this is, in this big container, Elmer's glue. And if you're following along at home, I made mine pink with a little bit of red food coloring. Um, and you should have a little container with a powder. This is baking soda, and this is a saline solution, contact solution. And we're going to put in our baking soda. You can just dump it right into the little container with the glue. You're gonna start to mix that up, like so. Now we can dump in our saline solution. And you're gonna mix it up and you're gonna see this start to become really sticky. And it's all gonna come together into a big slimy mess. You might wanna put something down on your table just in case you make a mess, but see how it's coming off thick? It looks just like bubble gum. It is so cool. Doesn't that look just like gum? It's so gross. I love it so much. And once it all comes together like that, you might be able to just pull it right out and knead it with your hands. And it is so sticky and gross. And it's so cool. Doesn't that look just like gum? It is sticky and it's stretchy and it's so cool. I hope you guys have fun with this. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your hair. Just play with it in your hands and everything will be good. All right, friends, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this week's story. If you have a three to five year old that you'd like to sign up for the Fairy Tale Fun Storytime program, just call the library and they'll be able to pick up craft materials that go along with our story that week. Thank you for... There's gum in my hair. What do I do? Okay. And, <laughs> dang it, <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, all right.
right. Um, damn it, no. <laughs> Oop. Yep. <laughs> oh, I hope this turns out good. Okay, this is the one. This is gonna be the one. It's gonna have to be. <laughs> said duck and you sat very still. Dang, I forgot to say the rhyming thing. 